Shopify just announced a huge update in their Winter 24 Shopify editions. They talk about all their upgrades, but there's one in particular I want to highlight. It may not be their headliner, but it is for me because we've talked quite a bit about this on our channel. And that is, of course, adding variant swatches. Now I've made five different swatch videos up to this point. Some are to add swatches to your product page, some are to your collection page, maybe to your collection filters. And the reason was because one of my biggest gripes with the Dawn and other free Shopify themes is that they just didn't have color swatches out of the box. But now that's changed. This might not be so great for me because now those swatch videos are obsolete. But for you guys, this is awesome. Now, since this just came out, I don't have access to this feature, but there's enough that we can see to understand what it will look like. And we're going to go through that. I did check with Shopify support and they said US merchants should have access. I'm in Canada, so it isn't working for me. But if you are in the US, let me know if you actually have access. The support person didn't really know about this update. And considering there's been a drop in quality of the Shopify customer support, I wouldn't be surprised if they just got this wrong. But if you don't have access, stick around to the end because I'll show you how you can request earlier access to this. Before I get into it, I just want to thank you for watching these videos. We're here to help your Shopify store level up. And most of our videos come from your ideas. So if you want to see a customization, subscribe and prompt us in the comments below. So let's start off by looking at the Shopify Dawn theme. We can see here it's version 13, came out January 31st, 2024. Now, as I'm recording this, it is January 31st, but you're probably watching this a little bit later. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can check out the release notes on version 13, and we can see the variant picker now supports color swatches. This is what we've been waiting for. It does depend on a product taxonomy feature, which is rolling out gradually over the coming weeks. So it seems like while the theme has support for the variant swatches, the actual back end that it works off of hasn't been rolled out. And so that's why we can't actually quite use it yet. And so this is actually not just for the Dawn theme. This actually is for all the Shopify free themes um, and actually just Shopify back end in general. Uh, but you can see here, if we go to the Shopify free themes um, and we go to any one of these and we go to the release notes, it's the same thing, right? The variant picker now supports color swatches. And so with this product taxonomy feature, uh, all, of our, all of our themes actually could probably plug into this and it gives us extra feature to make swatches a little bit easier to work with. And as we can see, even the free themes have support for this uh, right out of the box. Okay, so if we hop into our themes area, you can see here I've downloaded the theme version 13, and so we can jump in and customize. Let's go to the products area because that's where um, the variant pickers are gonna be selected. Uh, we can go to variant picker, and you can see here there's a section for swatches. Um, so we can actually pick square, none, Circle. This product doesn't actually have swatches, so let's go to one that does. But you know, nothing is changing here, uh, and that's because that product taxonomy feature hasn't really been rolled out, at least not for me yet. Um, so, what I think is going to be happening is this product category here, we should be able to set it to, let's say, clothing. And and then there should be popping out different uh, category meta fields that come with it. So what do I mean by that? So if, if you come to this uh, swatches area here, it actually tells you, OK, this is how you set it up. And here's an example of what it could look like. So now our Dawn theme or any of our Shopify free themes can have these swatches. And so, you know, it talks about early access, so it seems like it's just not available yet. Uh, but you can see here, this is exactly what we were looking at, right? This, uh, this variant picker here. Um, and you need to set it up with a uh, product category and the uh, meta fields. And so product category is what we were looking at right here. So if we set the clothing um, and then based on what it says here, we should be able to select the meta fields. But again, it hasn't been rolled out, so I actually can't do that yet. Um, and they actually talk about it in a little bit more detail here, category meta fields. So you can say, OK, your product category, in this case, is bed sheet. We are clothing. And then, and then it allows you to add the category meta fields. 
Um, and like I said, we, we don't have access to that yet. Um, so the other interesting thing here is they've got this new taxonomy structure. So the taxonomy is kind of like how your category is organized or structured, right? So home garden goes to linen and bedding, goes to bedding and bed sheets, right? So that's sort of the, the hierarchy of your categories. Um, and so this is how they're, so this is the new taxonomy that they're going to be using. Um, it's going to be fully published by the end of 2024, but you can already kind of see this as a preview. So for us, let's say apparel and accessories, clothing, um, clothing tops, and uh, let's say t-shirts, right? So now we can see here are all the different IDs we can use. And so presumably each one of these could be mapped to a swatch, right? So color, right? So color, we've got all these different colors. We can map that and uh, make swatches for uh, this product category, right? So if in our case here, we've chosen clothing. So we can actually come back and maybe just do clothing. Uh, and with clothing, we only get these three options here, color, pattern, material, right? And so um, that's how we can make swatches, right? So we've got color here. We should be able to set these as swatches because when it's available, we can map those variants to the uh, category meta fields. So if we check out here, it says here, you can actually request access here. So let's jump into this page. And this page is sort of like the, the big update. This is all the information about their uh, Shopify editions, Winter 24. And it's a pretty big page. We can scroll through and it gives all this detail on all these different changes. Um, we're really going to focus on just the swatch portion of this. Um, but you can see here this little picture. So this is why I'm saying there should be these additional fields because right, this category here is this here, but it's missing these additional fields to set the category meta fields. And so when it's available, we should see something like this. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can actually see here that um, the search and discovery app is all, has also been updated. So um, we can now add visual filters for swatches, right? So the swatches can also be in our filters now. So if we come back to our theme uh, and we can go to a... Uh, a collection, let's say. So we've got we've got filters, right? This is a horizontal filter. Um, this has been added through the search and discovery app. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on how, explaining how to add that. Just check that out. I'll, I'll add a link in the description below. But once you have added it, you can um, change your desktop filter layout. So it could be horizontal, it can be vertical, right? So like this. And we should be able to add swatches into our filters here as well. Um, so that's also a really cool update um, and is also another video that I had done, which uh, will now be obsolete once we're able to do this directly uh, in Shopify itself. So how do we get access to this? Um, mostly, it seems like we have to wait. But if you want early access, there's a little sign up button here, right? So updated taxonomy. We want that sign up and it says sign up for early access. Just add your email in there, submit that, and hopefully they'll email us soon with uh, early access to this. And so that way, you don't have to uh, do these custom updates on your Shopify theme. You can just do it directly in the Shopify settings. So what do you think? Do you like this change? Personally, I think it's great for Shopify store owners. The lack of color swatches on the Dawn theme was one of the main reasons why I even started this channel. There just wasn't an elegant solution for it because apps slow down your store and dev work is just generally too expensive if you're uh, just trying to get your store off the ground. But now everyone gets this feature directly in the Shopify backend and I'm all for it. I can't wait to just add this to my Shopify theme so we don't have to do this custom coding to, uh, to get those swatches. While on this channel, we do add a lot of custom features through additional code, my favorite way to customize a theme is just to use out-of-the-box features like this whenever we can. So I guess this probably means less swatch videos, but there's just so much more customization we can do. Whether that's additional code or just learning how to use the thousands of settings and features that Shopify already has and is continuing to add. So I probably have at least one more swatch video to record, but until then, I'll keep making customization videos. If you want to see something, just add it to the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.